Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Christian, or Silent Skill, and today I'm back, um, probably to everyone's surprise, to actually make a new video. Everyone's probably like, dang, he's actually making another video after he said he would. Yeah, that's something I haven't done very often in the past. Uh, but anyway, today's video is going to be about um, the worst camping trip ever, and we'll get into that in a second. But before I start that, I just want to say a uh, big thanks to my friend Avery, or Aves MHL. Uh, there will be a link in the description to his channel. The only reason you're actually watching this video is because of him so go click on his channel subscribe show him a little love and thank him for bringing you guys a video also before I get started can we aim for like 200 likes let's get 200 so smack that like button and if we get 200 likes in the night that I post th on the day that I post this I'll post another video tomorrow so yeah that should be a little motivation for you guys and if we smash it and get like 400 which I don't think it's gonna happen but if it did then I'll post two videos the next day. So how about that? That's just a little uh, goal for you guys to get. So anyway, yeah, we're going to be talking about the craziest camping story. So as kind of most of the people who watch my videos know, uh, I'm pretty involved with like my youth group. I do lots of stuff with my youth group. Uh, we hang out. We do lots of stuff. And it's not that I hang out. It's just they do lots of stuff. And sometimes, most of the time, I go to the hangouts and stuff that they do. Like we'll go out to eat. We'll go out to eat in town. We will go bowling. We'll go rafting. We'll go hiking. We do all sorts of stuff. We go mission trips, obviously the youth retreats, stuff like that. We do lots of stuff. And, you know, I encourage everyone that, you know, can to join a youth group. They're super fun. Uh, it's a good way to hang out with some good kids. And, yeah. So, anyway, on this particular trip, we were going camping. And so, this was my first time camping, I believe. Yeah, actually, it was. <laughs> that actually kind of is probably why I was so scared. So, this was my first time ever camping. This was about, I want to say, like, two years ago. And so... What, it, what we were doing is we go up, see, I live in a sort of a wooded area, literally at the base of a mountain. That's where I live, is right at the base of a mountain. And so if you go up the mountain a little bit, there's tons of campgrounds, tons of stuff to do. There's fishing, there's lakes, there's uh, natural water slides, which are like the coolest thing ever. Sorry, I'm just, I'm burping. <laughs> Honestly, I just had a Mountain Dew, it was delicious. But anyway, so yeah, we were camping and we went up to this place. I actually, I won't say what it was because then I don't, I don't want you guys to know where I live. But yeah, we went up to this one campground and there was about like 20 of us from the youth group, right? There's a bunch of kids. There was a few of the youth leaders and one of the kids' parents, which, you know, she's really cool. So we don't mind her, you know, hanging out with us. But we got there and it was so like the group had gone up without me because I think I was at a football game or a soccer game or playing in a game I don't even really remember it, but I know I went up the next day and I didn't get up, get there till the next day until like six o'clock when they were all eating dinner so I got there at six I met up with them it took us like 30 minutes to find the ground 30 minutes I'm stumbling so much it took us like 30 minutes to find the campground and when we finally did uh, I settled in I got there I'm like guys we pretty much got lost and and so uh, I just went down, sat down. I had like two double cheeseburgers. I had tons of food. I was so hungry just from playing soccer or football or whatever I was doing that day. And so, yeah, it was a good time. You know, we were hanging out. We had the fire going. And so as the night goes on, we decide before it gets dark, because uh, at this point it was getting dark at like 830, I want to say. So we were like, okay, hey, let's do a game. And we decided to do Capture the Flag with these like little red solo cups. And what you did is you took a solo cup and you put it on one side of the road and then on the other, because there's a road down to the campgrounds. And then on the other side of the road, we put a different colored solo cup because we had yellow and like blue and like red, something like that. And so we put them and you hide them strategically but at the same place, they have to be completely visible. So you have to know where they're at. And in one game, I remember we put ours in a cup holder in one of the chairs and it was super obvious, but they never found it, which I just thought was hilarious. And then, um, so yeah, we went searching and apparently they decided to put theirs really far back. And this was my first time really playing like a genuine game of capture the flag. So I'm looking around and I'm like, dang, I can't find it. Cause they, you're supposed to like go on your side of the road and we don't even know where they are. They hide it. And by the time we get back, we're all at the road. And then we're both trying to get to the other side. So I was one of the attackers, you know, like going for the flag. And so I'm walking and I'm walking and I'm walking and I'm walking in like 10 minutes going because they said, oh, we put ours really far back. And so I'm keeping going. And I'm like, where is this? And so when I keep going, little do I know there's like a hill. So I'm like, okay, it's probably at the bottom of the hill. And I've been walking for so long. I was kind of suspicious, but, you know, I thought they were kind of going all out on it. And so... Yeah, I kept going down and then I got to this river 
and I kept walking that way and I'm like, okay, you know what? I've gone too far. I went down this hill. There was a bunch of hills at the same place. Not like hills, but kind of like, I guess, yeah, hills. But there was like trees on them and stuff. And I kind of lost my way. And so I'm like, okay, it's time to go back. And so I'm walking for another, like, I want to say 10, 15 minutes. Because like, I don't know. They said they were really serious about it. This is my first time ever playing Capture the Flag. And they're like, it's really far out there. And so I'm walking, I'm walking. And then I... I realized I'm not going the right way and because I'm walking for like 20 minutes now and I'm like oh crap I'm lost and we're in the mountains right now and I couldn't I didn't know where anything was and it's starting to get dark at this point right I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes I'm freaking out and so what do you call it? I've never been camping and if you don't know in my area there's tons of coyotes like coyotes are just so ridiculous and so loud and so yeah I was just walking around and then I go further and further up the mountain and I'm lost because apparently I'm going the wrong way at this point and so I'm freaking out because it's it's dark now and then I went to go pee and it's at this point pitch black when I went to go pee in the river because I could hear the river and so I peed in it and I got piss all over my hand which was just fantastic right and so I'm walking around I'm like seriously and I was always told that you can't put your hands in the river because there's like really bad you know germs and stuff in the river and I'm so like I'm like I've got a sticky hand with pee on my hand and I'm freaking out because there's like coyote screaming and yelling and everything and so I just sit down in a log and I start crying and at this point it's been like an hour because I had my phone with me it was kind of funny because I was playing music on my phone the whole time we were playing capture the flag and so I just sat there and I'm like okay you know what I like give up and so I'm sitting on this log and I pretty much just start crying I'm like I've never done this before I'm lost I'm probably gonna get eaten by a coyote and yeah so after walking I kept going in circles right like I'm I have such a bad sense of direction I'm not one of those people that like they can you could be drop them into the Sahara Desert and they'll swim across the ocean and get back home in a day it's like no I can't do that um, and so I'm stuck there I'm laying down and then I'm really tired because the entire day I was playing soccer and so what I did is I'm just like okay I'm not finding them I'll probably I gotta wait till the morning because there's no sense in going out and my phone's at like 10% battery so I couldn't use the flashlight anymore and so I laid down and I was freaking out and I was crying but I kept the music playing and so I just remember waking up and someone tapped my shoulder and I freaked out I was yelling and screaming and it was my youth leaders and everyone was laughing at me and um, but I got back I got safe and sound they're like what were you doing I'm like I got lost I went really far and then I tried to turn around and yeah it was a crazy story and uh, you can like ask well I'm not gonna tell you who they were but like everyone tells the story in the youth group now and they just think it's really funny and everything like that so yeah that's my story that's how I got lost they took me back to the campsite because uh, they knew where they were going and everything and it turns out I wasn't even that far away so when I went back I guess I had kind of gone in the right direction but I couldn't find the road so yeah, I was freaking out. I kind of drifted off. I don't think I was ever like fully asleep, but yeah, I drifted off. They tapped my shoulder and my music was still playing. So it wasn't, I probably wasn't out too long. And uh, yeah, but I made it back. I was safe. I had pee all over my hands. So I had to go back to the campsite, wash it off, put some Germex on. And yeah, so that was my camping story. Tell me, have you guys ever, has anything like this happened to you? Do you guys go camping? Do you have just like crazy camping stories? Please tell me in the comment section below. I love reading your guys' comments. They're awesome and amazing. Like I said, let's go for 200 likes. If we get 400, we will get two videos tomorrow, 200 in the day, and we'll get one video tomorrow. So yeah, go check out Avery's channel, uh, youtube.com slash avesmhl. Link in the description. He's the only reason you're watching this video right now. And yeah, I'm just rambling, but thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later and peace.